Hi, today we are going to learn about requirement traceability matrix. So, in the interview, they may ask you about what is RTM or what is requirements traceability matrix? Have you created one? So, uh, if you are a beginner and if you have not created this, I'm going to teach you like how to create a RTM. So, this is an Excel sheet where you have to like track all the requirements, okay, for your team. And uh, uh, it depends upon like your kind of position, whether if you are a business and is lead and uh, you're managing like three to four teams, then you'll be tracking all the requirements uh, in the same sheet, okay? So let's say first is project name. So what is your project name? What is your project type, whether it's a new project or it's an existing project? So what's the start date and end date? Who's the project sponsor and who's the project manager? And uh, if you want to add who's going to be the business owner and who's going to be the author, all that you can add. So, but these are something like mandatory, okay, start date, end date and uh, project manager. And then you're going to track all the requirements. So um, let's take an example. So the business owner wants to create a um, login page and registration page, okay, just two requirements. So um, first requirement is user login. And then we are going to put the status here. Status is in progress. Okay. It's in progress. Still our development team is um, developing that feature. And what about registration? Uh, it is not yet started. Okay. Not yet started. Okay. So you can put uh, status as um, you can put status as in progress or you can put as um, not yet started. So you can define like whatever status you want to put and you can if it's like um, completed, then you can put it as uh, completed also. So that's the status column. And then you're going to put the test case number. So this requirements traceability matrix um is a document it's like it's been used for many years now it's like from the beginning of um it right this excel sheet is very famous so it's this one you have to like ask from the testers what's the test case number so maybe it's like one two three so i'm giving an example okay so you're uh, and uh uh, who tested that? Okay, so when was it tested? When was it implemented? And who verified it? And you can add any, any like if there was any defect, like what was the defect? Um, who found the defect? So you can add the additional comments here. So like this, you have to like add all the requirements one by one, okay, on a high level. And then you have to like track the status, whether it's in progress, whether the team has completed or not. And you can add additional columns also. Like if you want to add multiple team names, we can also add that. And then um, you can um, put comments, okay? So whether if whether there is a delay in there uh, while during development or delay during testing, all that you can put in additional comments. So why is this requirements traceability matrix important? It's important because so once the uh, you gather the requirements right you need to like track it somewhere right so that we know like how many totally how many requirements are there for this project and what's the status of it so that just uh, just with this one excel sheet you are able to like trace requirements okay what's the status so uh, in the interview if they ask okay define requirements traceability matrix so you have to say that's a document uh, where um, that is specially used for tracking the status of the requirement okay but these are like old times so this excel sheet tracking and all like you can make mistakes and sometimes you may leave the requirements so um, but now there are uh, in uh, new new tools for tracking okay i'm going to tell you one of the tools so that is jira okay so this is called Jira software. If you Google Jira software login, you'll be able to uh, see that login page. It's free. Um, it's not, uh, doesn't have any fees or anything. So you can create an account. I will create a separate video on 
how to create a jira account and how to log in and what kind of um templates you need to choose and all so for example you created an account you are in jira software inside and here you can see right you can see i have given uh, the project name as rtm sample rtm is requirement traceability matrix sample okay and then um, you can see here okay your work projects filters dashboards people apps and create if you click on create in create it will be asking you it will be showing like issue type okay so if you click here it is showing for story task bug and epic okay so let's say story and task okay usually we go with story so story is nothing but a requirement and it is showing here itself status okay so status is to do or in progress or done and then you put the summary for example the same user login you put it here user login and then uh, if you want to attach any documents you can attach that and then in the description if you want to like describe about um if you want to describe anything about that user login feature right you can add in the description and then um and also at home it is assigned okay if you you can assign to yourself or any any member right of your development team it could be a developer or a tester or it could be anybody okay so you can um put their names if you put search here it will be asking for names you can do that or if you want to assign to yourself you can do what's the priority for that particular story what's the priority whether it is high low medium or lowest or highest so you need to select a priority and then um you are going to i will tell you what is epic and what is sprint so i'm going to make a separate series of agile training so i will tell you what is epic and sprint for now you have to like make sure this is what you will create okay so what's the difference if you're going to create in an excel sheet then you you have to like manually like create all the columns okay columns and rows and manually you'll be typing everything in the requirements and what's the status and then you need to ask everybody what's the status whether it's in progress or done or not it started and then you'll add the comments here whereas if you're going to use this tool okay this jira software then it's going to be some kind of automation right so you go here log in to jira and then um once you see create button you need to click on create and then from create you need to like uh, choose story and then you can choose like um whether it's being in progress or uh, it is yet to start then you are you add all the summary and then description and then you select all the fields okay what's the priority and all that and then you create it okay so this is like if once you create that okay let me create one for you and show to you okay and then um, once i create it okay it will go to the backlog it says issue added to the backlog so you can see if you go if you click on backlog here you'll be able to see that story here okay in the backlog you can see that user login same way for registration you go to create and then story and then you can put it as registration page and then you are going to create it okay again you can see that there will be another if you go to backlog and see there is like two stories created now so this is easy okay this is like anybody who has access to this jira software for example in your team there are 50 people right and you create um the requirements in the backlog they will have access to each story so when they open this user login story they'll be able to see okay what's the status what's the description whether it is being complete or not you need not like update the excel manually and give it to them every time okay this is more like easy to follow up with multiple teams and in your team you have 50 people and then the whole project there are like multiple people let's say there are 100 people working in that particular project is a very big project so there are multiple requirements 
you can create these stories here and then make sure um you put all the information okay description priority and everything okay i will i will do a detailed video of each and every field here okay and so you add everything and then what what happens is the whole team okay 100 people everyone is able to see that if, the, if they go to the backlog right they can see like how many stories are there for this particular project and what's the status whether it's in progress or whether it is done so this is a new software it's currently in trend and in the interview if they ask you like uh, are you aware of jira tool okay you can say yes i'm aware i'm aware, I'm aware of it and uh, i know uh, to track requirements both in excel and in jira if they ask you what's the difference you can always say that um, in the excel sheet it's going to be completely manual so you have to like um, i mean document all the requirements and then you have to like go and ask them okay one by one whether it's in progress or it's done and then you have to manually add all the comments and you have to keep updating this excel sheet and you have to like keep distributing the updated versions to every everybody in the team whereas in jira it's going to be different okay in jira it's like little bit of automation so what you, uh, you can just log into jira create the stories and then put it in the backlog and then you can update all the fields here description summary status and if you want you can attach here see you can attach any documents and uh, you can link any web pages and all that related to that particular any if you have drawn any diagrams that page also you can link here so um so uh, it's easy for tracking okay if there are, it's going to be a very big project then jira is a must and it's an updated tool so you can always say that i know about jira and i have created uh, sample stories and uh, so i know what jira looks like and what is the uh, purpose of using jira software so i hope you understand the difference between requirements traceability matrix in an excel versus jira board okay this is called as jira board so this is an automation automated tool it's very useful you need to try it it's free uh, i'll also make a detailed video about how to uh, create an account in jira and how to log in and also tell you like what every uh, each and every field here right what does it mean and all that so i'll make a detailed one hour video regarding jira this is just the difference between requirements a requirement traceability matrix and jira board very important interview question and you should you can always even as a fresher if they ask you you can always say that i know about it uh, the purpose is to track requirements and we can also do it in excel or you can log into jira and create stories i hope this uh, video is helpful thank you